Thanksgiving. Welcome back in to America's Morning Headquarters. We will get you through the mid-morning hours. We sure will. The Weather Channel is helping you plan for the big events ahead. We do have uh, some rain out there for today, for sure. We do have some snow out there, for mm -hmm. sure, as well. So lots going on as you travel back and uh, do all the shopping. We have it all for you right here. All right, let's get to it. We've got our snapshot today. Let's get going here on this Friday. Maybe you're heading out to do some shopping. Yeah, so Black Friday bargains are no match for today's big deal. In parts of Texas, especially West Texas, that's where the upper level low is still hanging out. You know how I feel about those upper level lows. But we also have some rain in the east. And we're checking in on the airports. You might be traveling today, maybe maybe actually coming into your holiday travel. Who knows? So Indianapolis, where we got the... Uh, almost life-size traffic cones out here. Now, Indianapolis, yeah, some showers in the forecast. When we talk about this and what's coming your way, tonight is your big tree lighting in Indianapolis. I don't know, everyone's watching the weather for that. We do have the system that's sliding across the Great Lakes, the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, the Northeast today, but then we get a break, and then we get back into the rain as we get into your Saturday night and Sunday. So, uh, lucky for us, I think we'll do okay for that tree lighting, but we have rain coming back. If you're traveling Saturday night or Sunday, especially rain is in the picture. Temperatures are going to be in the 50s. Then we cool down a little bit behind that front. You know, so far so good. You know, I mentioned that front is on its way out of here. And so for us in Indianapolis, we're doing fine. Not expecting any air travel delays. None of the airports have any issues weather-wise right now. Chicago at O'Hare and Midway both looking good. The rain is really confined here to the northeast. And you go up into Maine, there could be some snow, mainly in some of the more northern latitudes. A little of freezing rain is a possibility as well. Don't don't discount that. That could be a travel issue this morning here. Keeping a close watch even down to Portland, but especially some of those northern suburbs where that could be an issue. Watching that temperature, it's oh so critical. And then we look at the rain showers again heading towards Boston. Mentioned you. There's still a little bit more to come out there now crossing over from New York State into Massachusetts and a few showers lingering here around the D.C. and Baltimore area. Philadelphia, we're in some rain this morning. And even beyond that, there's a few more showers lighter, but out there before this whole thing sweeps on through. A couple of showers in the Capital District. The rain has been heavy at times there heading into the Berkshires. We're going to be watching for that rain uh, affecting your, your travel, maybe your shopping plans, but it hasn't affected airplanes yet. So we're doing okay on time conditions. I don't know, volume is playing a role in this as well, but I did check the winds. They're not really that big of a factor just yet. So that's, I think, helping us out. Now, by Sunday, that's when the big weather maker comes in and that's when all the big rain comes into this area. So that's when we see much more of this region covered with the risk of rainfall. Some heavy at times, but whether you're traveling, whether it's 70 or 80, the Ohio Turnpike, we got some rain coming our way. You know, we get this out today and then after after that, our break, and then on by Saturday evening, here comes the big mess of rainfalls lifting up into the northeast as we get through the day on Sunday with a few showers actually lingering behind that until we kind of kick out this whole system on Monday. Let it. All right, yeah, and then we're talking about with us for sure. That next one coming in. <laughs> Could be, be a I doozy. Mean, severe and snow, yes. you know, in the mix for it. Sure. Well, yesterday on the show for Thanksgiving, our question of the day was a very simple, what are you most thankful for? Yeah. Check out this pic from, and this comment. This card, that's something a lot of folks do over Thanksgiving, <laughs> right? Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. So millions are on their way to secure those Black Friday deals, rain, sleet, or snow. Although most places are expecting optimal weather back, but if so, it's really nice, I'll go out. Yeah, if it's nice, I'll go out, but if it's raining. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let us know. We didn't do a true poll. We just want to hear your responses and we will share them right. on the show today. Yeah, sounds good. Did you have a good dinner night yesterday? I did. What about you? Yeah, it was delicious. Fabulous. Still stuffed this morning. They should do the turkey trots the day after Thanksgiving. I totally agree. But I saw, I actually went to the park yesterday and I saw a lot of people out there before dinner. Can't might be in order for later <laughs> on today. We'll be right back. Yeah. Now we have another storm system coming into the Pacific Northwest. This one will eventually impact the weather across the entire country in a big way. Yeah, it will. And actually this one is the one that's kind of going to kick this, the one that's down to the south already, uh, that's mm -hmm. bringing the rain there, that's going to kind of kick it back off towards the east. So this is going to co really go coast to coast. Right now we do have uh, plenty of winter weather alerts across the area. We can see winter storm watches and also those winter storm weather advisories. Yeah, we've had some issues for travelers on 90 lately. Uh -huh. I checked right now, there's no restrictions. The roadway is 
is dry at past level, but that's going to change, and winter storm watches are up across the zone. All right, and that's going to go through this evening and through your Monday. And then we put this into motion, and we can start to see some of that snow trying to work its way around Spokane, around Butte, as we head into your Saturday morning, and then it travels further inland. And it looks like it dissipates, but then we do have another round that's really going to move in across the Seattle, also around Portland. This is a decent trough digging in. It's mm -hmm. got some energy to it. It's going to dig pretty deep, actually, eventually into the Rockies. So we'll see some of that snow spreading down into the southern cascade of Oregon. Rainfall along the coast, we've got one to two inches coming our way, and maybe even down to northern California. Yeah, and then we do still have some snow that's going to add up as well. So you can see that inland, as we're looking at some of those purples, they are really adding up. So this goes right through Tuesday. In the purples, you're looking about eight to a foot, and we can see maybe about two feet along the coast there inland. The travel impacts big time. <laughs> Today is a great day to travel. I would do that before all of this gets in here. We picked up a couple of inches around Jackson Hole, the Tetons yesterday. Now we're looking at another couple of inches, maybe even more than five to eight inches of snow coming your way. Great for skiers. <laughs> Wonderful. And Salt Lake City, this is the forecast as we work our way into your Monday. We will see some rain and some snow there. It gets cold as we head into Monday night with that snow. And then we can see some snow showers early in the morning on Tuesday. And then it gets cold. 19 degrees <laughs> on Tuesday night. So certainly cold air coming in behind it. Definitely a powerful storm system that we're watching. Digging in rain, snow to the Pacific Northwest. Eventually, this is going to be a stormy and maybe snowmaker into the middle of the country. Exactly. So how green is your morning coffee? One company is offering pods that are recyclable and making it easy for customers to participate. Here's how Nespresso is doing it greener. Did you know they're everywhere and kind of taking over streets and commutes in the morning and like it's it's a big deal. There's yeah. too many of them. Too much of a good thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe there'll be too many wallabies hopping around. Yeah, we'll see how that yeah. goes. <laughs> well, welcome back everyone to America's Morning Headquarters. We've got you covered here on this Friday, whether you're heading out to do some shopping or maybe you're just still cleaning up from dinner last night. Yeah, I know. And Black Friday. So this is a big I wonder if it's still a big deal the way that it used to be. Like and people just really out there because you can do stuff online now. I know, and almost that's where the better deals are. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I still think today's the day where you just start to get ready for the holiday season, right. whether it's decorating or making plans, maybe creating your Christmas card. Um, we've got you covered here. So let me show you what we're dealing with weather wise. Now, there is some rain out there this morning. Maybe some of you heard it while you were sleeping last night, moving through parts of the south. We've got rain still around in parts of Alabama, mainly central and northern Birmingham. Showers coming down. Auburn, a couple of showers too. A few showers in the Atlanta metro area. The rain has been steadier here from Baltimore and D.C. straight down along the east coast of North Carolina. But Wilmington, things are breaking up a little bit. Thunderstorms are offshore of Louisiana, just a couple of them hugging the coast. And Houston, we're doing fine for now with just a few showers moving through, but there is more to come. So let's zoom on in and I can show you exactly what we are dealing with out there on their Friday morning. Atlanta, dry at the airport. But it's a little misty out there. I mean, we have a few more showers still left to come. Rome is raining at 53 degrees and showers up around Charlotte at 50 degrees. Kind of coolish. And if we're actually to dive down to the surface and show you what the winds are doing, a lot of them have been coming in from the east here, kind of right from Greensboro to Charlotte, back down to Atlanta. So that's just keeping it kind of coolish and murky and hard to clear out with conditions like that. Norfolk, it feels really hard to clear out here because we have rain that's been heavy at times through the overnight all morning long here. It's a good morning to stay in bed if you can. Greenville, North Carolina, the rain is still falling, although it's lightening up a little bit compared to what it just was. And a few showers still in Texas, San Antonio. We have rain over towards San Angelo. We've got rain and temperatures in the 40s. Midland, we've got rain and temperatures in the upper 30s. Oh, it's raw out there. Rainfall is still actually on the increase in Texas. We haven't kicked out the upper level low yet. It's going to mean thunderstorms. Some could bring heavy rainfall. That's why flooding is a possibility in the Houston area. A flood watch is up. Bay City, Katy, all the way up to Conroe. And we have another day with that risk of severe weather. It's actually south of Houston today, but it does include Galveston. Goes all the way down to Corpus Christi. Mainly damaging winds. We saw strong winds in Galveston yesterday, 61 miles per hour. And that same kind of thing could happen again today. Now, how far north does this get today? Yeah, we're headed to New York for sure and to get, fill in that snowpack. Well, with winter on the horizon, many of the U.S. turn to comfort food to stay warm. Added to that, the holiday table, where a traditional spread includes a lot of comfort foods. And we tend to eat a lot more. But all that comfort food can have an impact on our sleep and our health. Meteorologist Chris Bruin spoke with sleep expert Dr. Peter Polos about the connection between food and sleep.
It's something like one of their top five or six coldest Novembers to start, and it's finishing on a cold note, too. So this big trough that's digging in does bring the cold air, brings the energy, too. We see this thing dig all the way down here into the Colorado Rockies and into the plains. This is a setup for some snow that's going to spread out across parts of the northern plains, but also some possible severe weather as we see the surface load develop, moisture come up from the Gulf of Mexico. All the things are going to be in place. We've got our cold front. We've got our warm front. We've got our warm sector right in here, and that'll be the zone to watch for some thunderstorms. This is early in the week here. I would say early midweek that we're going to be watching. So here we go with the cold air to the north and the warm air to the south. So it's the clash of air masses. Now, a clash of air masses makes a front. It does create the storms themselves but when you have this kind of scenario you normally have a decent amount of energy in the atmosphere that goes along with it so thunderstorms to the south here we'll watch Arkansas we'll keep an eye on Texas and Louisiana and there will be a zone of snow up here somewhere to the north there'll also be perhaps a mix of precip that we have to watch out for and of course always watching out for those different precip types like freezing rain or sleet and the travel issues that they can bring here's your Monday forecast and watching through the evening that snow as Lynette talked about spreading through Colorado Wyoming some of it into Nebraska We'll see some snow shower chances coming into Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, getting ready for that on Wednesday into Thursday to sweep across the lakes and then into lower Michigan, pretty much all across lower Michigan. This all heads east as we get into Wednesday, watching that low and then along with it as the cold air fills in behind it, you can get a quick changeover from rain to snow pretty quickly behind it. All right, we'll talk more about how much snow and then of course about the severe weather chances into next week. Yeah, yeah, a good. Correlation. Although parking lots are still packed. I know. So people People are still out. They, oh, yeah, they love it. People love it. So my, my aunt, she lives for Black Friday, you know, and I'm like, how do you do that? I'm like, I, you, like, you couldn't pay me to do it, like, on Black Friday. Like, I want to stay in on my computer and be like, oh, that dress is cute. I'll order yeah. it. To it, you know. Yes. Then, for many, it starts on Thanksgiving Day when they line out all the ads and they take a look yes. and see. Um, maybe you're scrolling through them on your phone, but either way, you know making the plan. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, so I'd rather stay in today. Um, I put my lights up already and I'm going to turn on my lights for the first time today for sure. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you are ready to go. I am ready to go. Well, let's get that forecast for you if you are doing a little shopping yourself heading out there. Uh, you know, this is a tough time of year too because in many cases the ice is not thick enough, mm -hmm. although it may, you know, appear to be frozen. It just hasn't been that cold for that long right. in order to really freeze a thick enough layer for it to be safe. Right. So I just would just stay off any type of anything that you see frozen. Just look at it from afar. Don't go out until sure. you know for sure. That exactly. That is good to go. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Want to keep you safe out there. Thanks for choosing America's Morning Headquarters to get you through the mid morning hours. Yeah. The Weather Channel is helping you plan for the big events ahead and big events for today. We're talking shopping out there, mm -hmm. coming back from grandma's house, a lot going on. The cleaning up, yeah. the figuring out what to do with all the <laughs> leftovers. There's a lot to look at today and there's a, a decent amount of rainfall, although it's not going to last. Black Friday bargains and you know what? The Black Friday bargains are really no match for today's big deal. Winter weather through the West, Ooh. you'll want to